I know it is the definitive version because I was at the original Cannes Film Festival when this version, almost close to this version, was presented. I know this was Sergio's vision because I used to talk to him all the time about the film and scenes that were done because I was the only one who was there the entire time. Bob was in and out and everybody else was in and out, but I was there the whole time. And uh, I became very close to Sergio and I always knew that this was his vision, but I had never actually seen finally this complete cut until the Cannes Film Festival two years ago. And Bob De Niro and I were on the red carpet, and I said to Bob, are we going to sit through it again? I mean, I've seen it several times. He said, yeah. He said, yeah, let's do it. Sat down. Ennio Marconi was a few rows behind us, you know, 93 years old, still fit and vibrant and, you know, this remark. The reason I mention him is his music in the first 15 minutes of the actual cut of the film the way it should be, this version that you're, we're about to see today, was, it was mesmerizing. It was absolutely, I turned to Bob, I went, oh my God, this is what the movie was meant to be. And now my rage at the destruction of the film has just been set in cement. How dare anybody have destroyed this monumental film the way this film was destroyed? And I'm glad I got to live to see it reconstituted. And by the way, a plug for Gucci, and to Marty Scorsese, the Film Foundation and Gucci spent millions of dollars uh, and a lot of years working with the original editor on the film and with the family to find the film. And I think it's important that you remember that, you know, this noblesse oblige of these great corporations, you know, um, I think it's wonderful uh, that Frida ha has done this, uh, the, the head of Gucci. She's a remarkable woman. Uh, she loves film. She has... And, uh, she has encouraged her husband and her company to put effort into supporting film. And, uh, you know, I say bravo, bravo, bravo to her, you know. So I'll give a perfect example. I was sort of the king of the independent films in the 80s as an actor. I mean, not the king, but, you know. In other words, I did a lot of the independent films I know because I have all the paychecks that never, never cashed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and I was here with Oliver Stone at the New York Film Festival, as you remember, like two or three years ago for the 25th anniversary of Salvador. And Oliver, of course, had cut the film, you know, spent years, week, months in the editing room in those days. So I don't think he realized what the final version of the film was, but I did. And I watched the film, and he, we're very good friends, Oliver. We stayed incredibly close friends. I love him. I said, Oliver, you know, there were four little scenes from the film missing. Are you aware of that? He said, what? I said, well, the scene where blah, blah, blah. And I told him the four different scenes. He said, oh, my God, you're right. He said, what, were they in the original print? I said, yes, I know, because I wasn't in the editing room. I know what the original movie was. And he said, I don't even know where that stuff is. And, and I, I actually said, you should talk to Marty about it. And I, I think I mentioned to Kent or some, somebody here at, at, at the New York Film Festival. I thought, here we are at the New York Film Festival. We're not even seeing the right print of the film. And it's, not, nobody, it's nobody's fault. Oliver thought it was the right print. A lot of these films have been destroyed. And I, I think that the 80s is so important because it was Miramax, Hemdale, all those small companies that made these unbelievable gems of films. And for them to be destroyed now and not found. You know, the worst thing that ever happened to film was that the author of a film in international law is the person who owns a negative. Well, they just cut this stuff up for foreign TV and so on, and they don't care. I mean, they're not, you're not talking about artists doing this, you know, uh, the people who own these films now. So um, it's very important, I think, that, that the Film Foundation be supported. And I think Marty Scorsese has done extraordinary stuff to, to make this possible.